are ready to try and take that W here today, and I can't wait to see them perform. Absolutely, especially after the action that we saw from doubles between Louis Money and Sen taking doubles yesterday, even after that reset that we were able to uh, see as well. So while day one was all doubles action, this is day two, and this is the gauntlet run here, Ajax. We got all of the ultimate singles all the way down to find out what our top eight competitors are going to be looking like for top eight tomorrow for Sunday. Exactly. Better build up that endurance. It's a long walk to the Ooh. menu and it's a long way to top eight. You got all day today. We're going to start it off with Mario versus Wolf. Some explosive gameplay that's probably going to be off the rip between the two because once one of them gets a hold of the other, particularly Mario, when he gets a hold of Wolf, he sends him off stage for free. But at ledge, Wolf will tear you up and Mario's got to be careful with that. Yeah, you got, you got to look at Flood too in general. When you have Flood charged up like you already see Trout getting ready for. It's going to be scary to recover horizontally if you're looking at Wolf. And you talk about getting those grabs at some empty hops here. You saw the landing up air attempt two coming in from Trout, but no overextension. So he has the opportunity like right here. Yeah, he's trying to rip the jump on him, but mashing out with the up air. Ten sends him back off with the F tilt, but the early Wolf Flash will get him out of that. And this is an extremely even game between the two of them right now. Advantage Wolf in terms of getting kills at ledge. But once he gets Mario to around 140-ish, it becomes straight hit aerial territory. And that's where Mario will capitalize. I just really love how volatile it's looking like for both these players. A lot of respect despite that. You can see the dash back from Swag Idiot, but the moment he gets hit by that Nair, he's going to kind of move back a little bit here too. He knows the Flood's been used up. It's a little funny to call of Swag Idiot because he, at least he's got that swag but he does not get that landing on the up smash. Try to find Trout finding himself on the stage again. 100%. Not looking stupid at all so far. He's actually had really <laughs> good uh, like options in terms of how he's approaching it. He's kept it even but now he's at the ledge. He's avoided a couple of these dash attack two frames. He gets the cross up back here. Doesn't oh, get wow. the kill Vicky but he has control now. Amazing DR right there coming in from Trout. The patience though. Gotta wait a little bit. Oh, but even when you try to go for a neutral getup, you know that you're pressured out. You're stuck in shield, and the moment that shield drops, Swag Idiot was ready. That's the Wolf Classic. You like you are taught shield discipline right there, because no matter what, taking the throw is the best situation there, but you still get stuck at ledge. But you want to move, and he gets caught for it. However, Mario needs one good anti-air up smash, because Swag Idiot is jumping quite a bit right now, and that's a stock. Let's wait it out here, too. He's taking a lot of damage at the same time now. Actually losing his cool just a little bit. He managed to run up, get the grab now, get the back throw. He has him off stage. He's got the flood charged up, but he's going to negate that. You're not going to be able to tech that back here, that red splash coming through. And now we have Swag Idiot on that second stock. 54% only up to Trout, which is not too bad. After all this time of having that in there, that's still a personal nerf to some players who used to tech everything. But it, it, having that Sadness. situation happen, it works out, especially because Swag Idiot was kind of cruising in 16% to 77 it, it seems like it's starting to derail a little, but there's a lot of time left. It's something you can never do is count out Mario, especially once he gets one combo going. Absolutely, especially looking at the way that Swaggity has been playing. He's been really trying to prioritize center stage control. The moment he finds himself out of place by the ledge, he Woo! doesn't want to <laughs> risk it. That was so scary. <laughs> Narrowly missing him. You can't be doing that to me this early in the morning. Go for them, <laughs> go, them big tech chase reads. Oh, get, okay, gets the falling upper, but swinging at a disadvantage. I've seen Swag Idiot do that quite a bit, and Trout hasn't really respected it. So if he can figure out where he likes to swing at a disadvantage often, he can get a free punish. Finally gets a grab at least, so he's starting to work his way back in if he catches one back here. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, he's wanted to early buffer in air dodge to catch the forward smash. Oh, I love the patience there too. Empty Hop, he's in, uh, he wasn't going to chase him at the same time here. Waits patiently to try to get that down tilt. Doesn't get the back air, but immediately retaliates with the Nair here. Tries to call it a jump, but you can see the respect right now from Trout. Yeah, this is very scary territory. We're sub four minutes right now, which means it's going to be that much harder to try and play safe as it goes on, because eventually you got to find an answer to get a hit in, and the anti up smash comes in, finally catching that really aggressive play that he always had on short hop. 136, you got to get him back with the back air, finding the opportunity right after you saw Trout throw out that fireball. CP tries to keep him up in the air, but he manages to stay grounded, manages to avoid getting stuck on that platform. Yeah, and usually this is that point, Vicky, where I feel that somebody's going to go for a big play because they want to they want to get game one considering how close this has been. But these two have been very safe. This is the first set on stream today. You can tell they're not trying to go too reckless. This is a big combo, though. Trying to catch an early jump did not get it, though. See, charging up the flood here. He has the fireball sent out. The double jump used up. You can see Swag Idiot now just trying to retaliate, whether it be with the fair or the nair. He's oh. scared. He's off stage. Scary situation, but the tilted forward smash down below is not going to catch him. He's got to be careful now because he did that air dodge, and then he buffered roll on immediately, which means he might be getting really panicky in those defensive situations. That reveals something to the Mario. So that means you're probably going to jump right here, and he does catch the jump, and then he gets that back up, probably with a neutral get up. And, oh, oh, and he roll rolls on. all the defensive options that you were talking about Ajax between the jump between the roll the neutral get up and he jumps on top of him on top of the up smash 
you highlighted it amazingly right there. He knew that he was playing scared. Yep. And the moment he lost stage control, the moment that he was forced off by the ledge, he did not know what to do. Yep. He was just trying to play just to get right back to the it's stage, a, no matter what it took. It's a very common habit for players to get into this position where after you press the R button or wherever your shielding button is, a few times in a row you think, Crap, I've done it too many times in a row. They're going to be thinking about that, so I I have to do something. But he did think about that. He knew that jump was coming, and then the buffer rolled on after. Just controlled him, and Mario's so good at that at last time. Love how close it was for our first set that we're seeing on stream, too. You can only imagine there's some nerves here. Some of these players playing on stage may not have played on stage in a while there. It's been some time since we last have been to a Momo Con. It's been since 2019 for myself, at the very least. Nice spot dodge, getting that grab going. Already putting in some damage, but looking very similar to the first game that we actually yep. saw. Oh, we're trying to get the falling upper as well. That could have made the game look very different. If he got that falling upper and sent them over the side, oh, this could be a difference right here. But he goes for the extended, he's just going for extended damage. Not really trying to look for that forward air set. I have, I, I'm winning here out of this advantage now where before he kept getting trades. This is much better for Trout Swaggy. It's going to have to find some better grounded play to hopefully get back in. Which tries to avoid that fireball. Something else that we haven't really been seeing as much here. I'm looking to see if we can see that changed up for game number two. Oh, he got clipped by the fireball. So low. Sniper 360 out here as he takes out that first stock. 83% now onto Trout and still rocking all three of his stocks. I love how confident that he's playing right now. He got the flood. He knows that he's already used up his, his double jump there too. But he keeps forcing his exactly. way in. Exactly. I'm so glad you pointed it out because you can see Swaggity is trying to force the initiative. He wants to get him to get he wants to get to him so he can get back in the game. But when you do that against someone like Mario. You get punished for it because of how good he is at capitalizing on those situations. Mm. Down smash does come through. This is one bread and butter string from Wolf Away. One down throw equals an even game. See if he can even contest him. The cape sending that blaster right back to Swaggity its face. Again, make it a two time. 87% now onto Swaggity, but like you said, Wolf putting out a lot of damage, gets that Nair, sending him off to the stage. Tries to go for a rather outlandish down air, but is it gonna get it? As you can see, Trout playing really safely to get right back to the ledge. Actually, uh, Trout, it just, it, it, the trout with the route of what happens to a lot of people. He ran straight at the Raging Bull. When somebody is trying to force, uh, like, like get, getting himself back in the game, holding forward while you have a lead can actually get you in trouble. And Trout kept trying to get openings after losing that slot. You had center stage control. Now we're back to an even game because he kept trying to swing. Oh, tech, amazing though. tech, yep. But the Flood, oh, he still managed to get back to the ledge. Still right close. Tries to jump to force his way back once again. And actually goes for a high recovery, but all the time in the world to react and get that grab. Yeah, now he gets caught on the jump again. He keeps going to the same 45 degree angle route at the bottom of the stage. He wants to go low. And you don't have too many options as Wolf, but you have to mix it up. Occasionally go high and catch Trout off guard. Which is what he did in the first game, actually. I feel like now is when we're seeing Trout really exploit Swag Idiot's recovery. Even with Flood, you saw that Swag Idiot noted that, actually waited for that Flood to be used up. Loves catching him after that high recovery, 141. This is the opportunity now for Swag Idiot to even things up. Oh, he had to read, too. He knew he was going to go all the way in with the double jump, but he just missed the back air. Now, the key here is you have four minutes. You have anti or up smash. You can make it work, but instead, he's going to get grabbed for it, Vicky. Oh, and he got the reset too. He got the reset and the oh. reverse, the uppy. 142. He's going to take the first, rather the second game and the first set that we get to see on the stream today. Caught him up on that mix up DI. Went towards the left, made it look like he was going to catch him on the right hand side. And that catches you holding in. And that sends you straight up, dying at 77%. That's not exactly the way you want to start off the day, but for Trout, 100% it is. What was fantastic there is that he also got the reset on his jump. He landed on the platform just so that way he could extend the string that he yep. was already going for with those upper. So fantastic awareness.